You know, today it's kind of the beginning of the fall transition. The leaves are starting to turn a little bit, but the water's still warm. So anywhere that I go, doesn't matter what time of the year it is, if I've got a lot of bait in the area, I'm thinking about this umbrella rig. So the same thing happens in the pre-spawn. You can see it in a lot of lakes in the summer, the fall, and definitely it's a deadly winter bait. Just keep that in mind. If you've got a lot of bait around, an umbrella rig is something that you should have tied on. goodness not a big one but a start I mean I started out first thing this morning and the right as I was idling out I saw that there was a lot of bait just a little guy but you know it's that time of the year it's it's uh transitioning from summer to fall up here in northern Michigan and uh the bass really start focusing on bait. So right now I've got a, a Strike King uh, titanium umbrella rig tied on, and that's just, a, it's a great way to cover water and uh, be real efficient to, to find where, the, you know, where these bass are at. There's just a ton of these big flats to cover. So I think that it's, it should be a good technique. There's a lot to it. It's not just chunking it out there and winding it in. So we're gonna throw, swim baits are, are gonna be what we're gonna focus on today. We'll throw a lot of different techniques, but I think this A-Rig is, is definitely gonna be a, a major player. Umbrella rigs are extremely effective because they're so efficient at covering any depth in the water column. All you gotta do is adjust the size of the heads on there to get it to go deeper or shallower. Oh God, there's another big pot of bait right there. Gosh, another little one. Well, a little better. <laughs> that one. Yeah, when they're, when you see that, when you start to see those bellies get like that, they're definitely feeding up. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to keep going. I'm seeing a lot of bait on the graph. It looks like it ought to be good. There it is. You know, the thing about an umbrella rig is it matches a school of bait fish. You know, today I was fishing a lake and there was just pods and pods of bait right off the bat on the sonar. So I knew right away that I wanted to fish with an umbrella rig. There's another one. There's a good one. No doubt. God, when they load on it like that, that's so much fun. Yep. <laughs> This is such an efficient technique. Nice one. Come here, baby. That's the beauty of it is it's just got so much visual appeal to these uh, smallmouth. I mean, they, they see all those raid swimmers moving, those blades flashing. And when they're you know used to looking at these big pods of emerald shiners, that's how those shiners stay safe from the from the fish as they just stay bite you know tightly balled together and it's hard for them to target one so just like i've got right here i've got multiple different colors rigged on there so i've got you know different uh 
different colors of them. You know, sometimes you you know you think you'd put them all the same, but I like to have some different ones in there, and they'll usually target one of those that's a little bit different colored like that. And most of the time, they bite the the center one. You know, the one that's hanging back just a little bit. They'll swim out behind it and, and just uh, inhale that one. Oh, golly! Heat pile driving it. There is just a huge cloud of emerald shiners right here. And there we go. Not a giant, but I mean, I saw this monster school of bait and that's when, you know, when I'm seeing that, when I'm seeing bait balls like that, I mean, just a pretty one right there. There he is, big one. Anytime you're throwing a raid swimmer, period, whether it's a single or on an A-rig like that, gosh, I mean, they just, they just, uh, they just love to, to hammer it. I mean, smallmouth like to kill it. Oh, I thought he was a great big one. Nice one. I mean, oh God. <laughs> I think sometimes when that sun gets up a little higher for these smallmouth and they start seeing that and that flash of that spinner starts coming out there, they, they even hit it harder. I mean, this is a good solid chunk, but just so efficient. I know when I'm, when I'm looking for them that this is a hard technique to beat. There you go. <sighs> <laughs> Gosh, he swallowed it. Now he got one of the side ones. Usually, like I said, they, they follow that tail one. I've been getting some bumps and things like that, but that's a good solid, good solid smallie. And he bit the KVD magic, so. I've tried to mix those colors up and you know, you wanna match the forage if you can, but um, I've, I've got some green gizzard on there, and that KVD Magic's always a good one if the water's clear, though. The thing that I love about this Strike King Tour Grade umbrella rig is the wire itself. You know, having that titanium wire, they just spring right back. So when I snap it or if I speed the reel handle up, it just has a lot of flex to it, and it tons, adds tons of action to those baits. I mean, if you want to get one to bite, all you got to do is flare it and he's gonna bite it. You know, so if you miss one, you feel one bump it, or you're just thinking that one might be following it, just change up that speed a little bit, and nine times out of 10, that's exactly when they're gonna bite us. Little guy. Just, gosh, he swallowed it though. He swallowed it. The old KVD magic again. I'm gonna try. I use one of my favorite colors for these smallmouth up here too. A lot of these, this bait has a real brown kind of tint to it. These sunny days, having something that stands out like that, or even green pumpkin, can be really good. So I'll mix it up and just keep seeing. The darkest one I had is that KVD Magic, and that's what they've been biting. There's one. Golly, did he get it. That feels like a gooder, better one. Oh, I just seen one bust too. Nope, just another nice one. Gosh. Eventually, you know, you're gonna run into some good ones, but they're just, I mean, they're, <laughs> I can't complain the way that one bit it, man. He knocked the rod out of my hand, and then I saw one right after I set the hook on that, one came up busting too. Like there must be a pot of bait there that I busted up, and there's so many clouds of bait. It just, and they're up, you know, from the, there's one, golly, did he get it. You can see that, just drop that down, and he, 
hammered it. What do I got here? Large mouth. Yeah. Do you catch both? You know, when you're when you're doing this. I mean, the Alabama rig is just a deadly bait. Anytime they're on shad like that, I mean, just a chunk right there. Solid. Let him go too. I mean, two casts in a row now. <laughs> Just a little bit of a point coming up right here. And there he is. On the KVD Magic again. Gosh. You know, one of the things that a lot of times that we'll do is uh, I'll take a little chartreuse and and just hit the tail on one uh, that center one in the back and I think it draws their attention to that one a lot of times so I haven't done that yet uh, today but because it just seems like the water is real clear and the bait that I'm seeing is really uh, it's small and that's why I downsize to these smaller raid swimmers and you know I'm still getting bit so but a lot of times just adding a little color uh, or changing to a different colored bait having one white one it'll draw their attention to it and they'll they'll end up biting that one smallmouth are super aggressive to begin with so when you put something with this much sensory overload in front of them with all those raid swimmers with the tails kicking perfectly and those blades on there and all that movement and then you jerk it a couple of times they can't help themselves they're going to crush it There's one. That feels like a good one. Gosh. They all feel good. <laughs> God. Just solid chunks. I mean, fat guys. They are getting ready for winter. They know it's uh, that it's coming right here. And the wind's picking up a little bit. And that's when this is really at its best. You know, it's just like... Uh, throwing an A-rig is about like throwing a spinner bait. You know, those cloudy, windy days when it's really blowing, it, it's just so much, uh, it's so much more efficient than a lot of other baits. Now I've got this right now on a high speed reel on an eight, three to one uh, Super Duty, you know, 20 pound line. And I've got three 16 ounce squadron heads on there. And then the bottom, the one thing that I, I like to do is the, the bottom one, I, I put a heavier one. So they're all three 16 and then I got a 5 16 down here, and that heavier one makes it always swim, you know, so that it's it's straight in line that way, you know, so it's upright just like that. So just putting that heavier one as that balance to it, it's always gonna swim just like that through the water. God dang it. Got him. Gosh. <laughs> I mean, he pounded it. I missed him and he. He hit it so hard I couldn't help but jerk, but he came right back. Man, another good solid fish. That one was on the IU. I gotta get another pack here. That's one of my favorite northern colors right there. That KVD Magic and IU, that just matches so many of the bait fish that we have up here in these waters. No doubt. I don't know if that's a bass. It's a great big fish of some kind. It might be a pike or a big walleye. Big smallmouth. I'm like, man, that's a big one. There's no doubt when, when I set the hook on that one. Come here, baby. That's what you're looking for right there. Big chunk, big belly. Gosh, solid one right there. I mean, he pounded it. Go home. Got him. Ah, little guy. <laughs> He popped that swim bait though. I mean, throwing a big swim bait is something uh, that you, you know, you've got to do and you got to have the right equipment for it. 
So I developed a rod that I throw a lot of different stuff with. This is one of those really, really special rods in my line for me. It's called the GC8. It's a seven foot six heavy action, but it's got an extra fast tip. You know, it's got a shorter handle uh, than most seven and a half footers. So it fishes and feels like a, a much shorter, lighter rod. It's just very comfortable. Again, it's one of those rods when you pick it up and cast it, gosh, it feels like a much shorter rod. It's real lightweight. It's really easy to handle. And uh, man, it's just, it's one of my favorite rods in the whole line. It's one that I use for a lot of different techniques. Oh, God. Good one. Oh, he's fall hooked too. That happens sometimes. He's got one in his mouth. Look at here. Got him. Good fish. I mean, <laughs> I threw it out there, let it sink to the bottom like that, and I mean, it, it went click right as it was about to hit the bottom. I mean, it's about 20 foot deep there. Just a, I mean, that's the kind of bite you want. That's why, you know, it's such a good, efficient bait. It's not many things you can get down there that quick and, and do it. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, man. I love throwing it. You know, when you're throwing an umbrella rig like this, you really think about matching the hatch with your rage swimmers, the color that you pick. You know, up here in Michigan, this water's pretty darn clear, so I'm using natural colors. You know, I mix it up too. You know, I've got a green gizzard on there, I've got an IU, I've got an electric shad, KVD Magic. Those colors right there, the Go Shad, those are real translucent, they're real natural, and they match the natural forage. There he is, big one. Oh man, he pile drived it. That's a good one right there. No doubt. Oh yeah. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> Probably my favorite way to catch smallmouth in the whole world is on a spinner bait. And the second has got to be this Alabama rig. I mean, it's very similar in the way they bite it and it's just such a solid, I mean, when they lock up on it, it's just, uh, it's a lot of fun, man. It's so effective. It's a great way to catch a lot of good fish. You know, one of the big things when you're throwing this is don't just chunk it out there and wind it in. You know, I'm gonna cast it out there. I'm gonna letting it sink with tension on the line. I'm feeling it as it's sinking down to the zone that I wanna start my retrieve. Then I start my retrieve and I'm gonna reel it along nice and steady. And then every now and then just take that handle and spin it real fast. Make that, make that bait flare. You know, these titanium wires on there, they spring back real quick and it just adds a ton of action to the bait. And if a fish is following it, if there's one near it or there's one looking at it, that's the trigger that gets them to react. Oh, golly, heat pile driving it. There is just a huge cloud of emerald shiners right here. And there we go. Not a giant, but I mean, I saw this monster school of bait, and that's when, you know, when I'm seeing that, when I'm seeing bait balls like that, I mean, just a pretty one right there. You know that you're throwing the right thing. You know, this Alabama rig imitates a, a whole school of bait with those spinners on there and all those rage swimmers. There's just a lot of flash and movement. It just really, uh, it just has such a visual attraction. Whether you're fishing for largemouth, smallmouth, or spots, when they get on, you know, bait balls, whether it's shad or like these, like I say, these are just small emerald shiners up here. And there's clouds of them here. It just tells me right away that, you know, I need to be throwing a swim bait for sure. And if you can throw five like that, it just makes it even that much better. I'm right on the edge of the drop and it is just bait from eight foot down all the way to the bottom. And that's why an Alabama rig is so good because it's so efficient at covering that mid-depth zone. You know, I can count it down to whatever depth, all that bait. And when it's going through all that bait, you know there's bass around it. If there's this much food, 
they're just going to home in on all those blades and all those raid swimmers, and they've been pounding it. There he is. Good one. Oh, come here. Good one. There's a good one. <laughs> Luck counts. You know, I've lost enough big ones today, so I just said, I'm gonna start boat flipping them. You know, with this with this A-rig with five hooks in it, I'm not taking no chances. That's a, that's a good one right there. Man. Umbrella rigs are a deadly effective technique. You know, just check your, your local regulations. Here in Michigan, you can use five hooks. In some states like Tennessee, you can only use three. So if that's the case, you can still put dummies on there. They just can't have a hook on it. But this technique right here in this rig, flat draws them in. It's so efficient for covering water and it's a lot of fun.